Do you ever feel as though Christians aren't really good news for the world? I don't know if you knew this, but, but that's what Christians are meant to be. Christians are meant to be, not just bring, but be good news to the world. You see, we often mess up because we're people. And people, you know, we, we make stupid mistakes. We, we can be really selfish. And what happens with Christians is because we follow a God who we believe is perfect, sometimes some Christians are stupid enough to think that his perfection gets transferred onto us in a way that gives us permission to do anything we want. And it's not true. It's not the case. So I'm sorry if there have ever been Christians who've hurt you before in this world. I'm really sorry for that. But I want to tell you what, what the good news is that Christians are meant to be bringing. And if you're a Christian, I hope that you will take some of this on board. Here, here's what we're meant to bring. If you are a Christian, you are meant to bring healing into the world. You're meant to pray for people to be cured from diseases, from broken limbs. It says in the Bible, in Matthew chapter 9, verse 36, that when Jesus saw the crowds of people who were coming to him, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless. And you're also meant to bring healing by forgiving people who've hurt you and by asking forgiveness from those you've hurt. One of the things the Bible says in the book of Colossians, chapter 3.13, to Christians is, forgive other people just like God has forgiven you. As a Christian, you're meant to bring hope. How do we, how do we bring hope? Well, we bring hope by telling people that God loves them no matter what. And we love people no matter what, so that people realise that no matter what they've messed up in the past, they can have a future with other human beings. One of my favourite verses is from the book of Micah, chapter 6, verse 8. And it simply says, what, what does God require of you? He's, he's shown you what's good, to act justly, love mercy and walk humbly with God. I've got that so wrong sometimes in the past. I've not been humble. I've not done what's right. And I've not shown mercy when, when people have made just simple mistakes. And do you know what else we're meant to bring good news about? That there is an eternal life that he offers us. In John chapter 3 verse 17 in the Bible, Jesus says, God didn't send me to the world to judge people. He sent me to the world to save people. Could there be better news than that we spend 70, 80, 90, maybe a few more years you know, going through some hard stuff on this earth. And then there is an eternity of adventure and no more pain. Do you know what else we're meant to bring in terms of good news? We're meant to bring justice. When Christians see people being hurt and mistreated, we're meant to speak up and we're meant to take action and we're meant to stand with them and we're meant to do everything we can to end the injustice. So I hope you're getting the message today that there are so many ways that we as Christians are meant to be good news to the world. And we need to be sorry for the times when we've not been, when we failed to feed those who are hungry, when we failed to understand those who are struggling with addiction, when we failed to love people who are just looking for love. Let's start as Christians with this great word, repent. Repent means turn around from the things you've been getting wrong and try and go a different way. We can't expect anyone else in this world to do that with God if we aren't willing to ourselves. That's called being a hypocrite. And that was Jesus' biggest issue with the religious people of his day. 